When you walk in the streets, you understand how great the city is. Kyiv is my hometown. I was born here. I started playing basketball in this city. When I finished my career in NBA, I returned to Ukraine. I want my kids to grow in this city. I think it's the best city in the world. After the war is starting, a lot of people start understanding their family, their country. It's the most important thing. It's kind of scary, but we don't have a choice. We have to just defend our city. We begin with breaking news as war unfolds in Ukraine. Russia overnight launched its long-anticipated attack. This is a large-scale, multi-targeted attack. Putin wants to take over Ukraine. He said Russia cannot feel safe. As Putin spoke, crews and ballistic missiles started falling. You hear the explosions. The fate of the country is being decided right now. I wake up, I believe, 5 in the morning because I heard big booms. When you hear the sound, your body is freeze. Your body freeze. And one thing you can do, you can just go to the basement and just pray. A rocket not making your place. Kiev is under attack. The Russian forces are closing in on us. The blasts destroyed apartments. The reality here is civilians are going to flee. That was a scary time. First of all, I think uh, I have to grab my family and run away from the city. But I decided uh, I'm not going and uh, I stay in Kyiv. And that was the right decision. That's like, if I run away, everybody will run away and uh, say, OK, it's no Ukraine anymore. Ukraine has declared martial law this morning. Any able-bodied male should join the fight. President Zelensky issued this rallying cry to people. Every man, if you can hold the weapon, you just grab the weapon and go patrol the city. I grab the automatic weapon and then go to the checkpoint. Some Russian forces are disoriented and are realizing this is much harder than they thought. The one factor the Russians didn't take into account was the tenacity and, quite frankly, the bravery that the Ukrainian army and the Ukrainian population has exhibited in the face of this overwhelming enemy. That was their goal, to surround the queue, but it's not happening. I feel that everybody is united. That's my town, I have to defend it. And everybody thinks that way. That's why we push them back and uh, just kick, kick their ass. They just run away like a rap. According to British intelligence, Ukrainians continue to retake territory in the north. Bucha Hastomel, nearest city when it was occupied by Russians, uh, they need help. We start volunteering and then help those people. On my mission in Bucha, I saw a lot. Uh, I saw dead bodies, I saw shot in cars, like civilian cars. That was a um, sign on the windows, it's a kids inside, but Russian uh, still shot the cars. I'm lucky because my kids did not see all the stuff like Russian soldiers did, but uh, the kids who saw uh, that they're just so quiet, Every resource goes to the army, uh, and uh, children need help. And uh, one day, just uh, sitting and thinking, what, what I can do? We have to take away the kids from the battlefield to put them in a, in a safe place. And uh, I remember I, I have a rings, and I will make decision to sell my rings. The money from this rings can change kids' life.
I'm driving to David Color place to bring him my two rings to sell it on auction. The nicest memory I have in the city is uh, probably win the two-time uh, championship. That'll do it. Back-to-back -back titles for the Los Angeles Lakers. The Los Angeles Lakers have made it three straight NBA championships. I love LA. I saw, I never saw the rings, but uh, I never imagined that it's going to be a war in Ukraine. My name is David Kohler of SCP Auctions, based in Laguna Niguel, California. And uh, we do high-end uh, sports memorabilia auctions worldwide. And I own uh, the largest Lakers memorabilia collection in the world. So we got the rings here. Yes, I'll get you my beauties. There you go. So the 2001 and 2002 LA Lakers championship rings. What a special team. That was back-to-back uh, -back and, the, and then the three-peat, right? Yeah. In my mind, it's the best team. An NBA. When Slava reached out to me, it was awesome just to hear what his intent was. These dollars aren't for me. This is for my foundation and cause to help the kids in Ukraine. You know, this is special. Hopefully we can bring six figures total for these rings. And there are so many Laker fans, um, not just in California. They're, they're everywhere, worldwide. So I think there's going to be a lot of interest on this. It's going to be a good step to show everybody why people around the world have to help Ukraine and Ukrainian kids. David, thank you for helping me, Ukraine. Hi, Slava, how are you? Doing good, thank you. We're just cranking along in the auction here, as you see. I'm very pleased with the current price on the rings. And the 2001 is over 90,000 now. And then the 2002 three-peat ring is in the 70,000s for your cause, what you want to do for the kids of Ukraine. These rings are already bringing more than what, you know, normal Laker rings bring. Let's see what's happened in the next 48 hours, right? Yeah. Hey, David, how are you? Everything went great. Both rings sold for a record amount over 126,000 each. The total is over $250,000. You know, we were honored to help you with this. Thanks all the people who beat some Marines because that's very important for Ukraine. We are located in a legendary gym. I was shocked. First time I came to this gym after this was bombed by Russian rockets. All the gyms looked destroyed. Rocket smoke was right inside the gym. I was shocked that Russian do that. The money we raised from the auction, it's helped kids to go on uh, basketball camps. When they play in basketball, they forget it's a war in Ukraine and just start laughing. I feel happy when I see how the kids play because that's emotion you cannot buy. That's why we fight in this war. Kids, it's our future. They will grow, they learn, how to rebuild our country. It's very important. We show all the world our nation is strong and we will fight until our country will be free. We're fighting not just for Ukrainians, we're fighting for all worlds.